Hi everyone, um, yeah, me again. Uh, <laughs> uh, we haven't got a local Paul with us today. Paul is uh, currently, I think he's leaving to go on holiday today for a couple of weeks. And uh, Locke is, I think, sort of house party at my friends. But me, of course, yeah, I'm back here. I like the quiet life. <laughs> so, what have we got for you today? Uh, I thought I'd do a hot one. I know it's only me, me on my own. Should I really do the super hots? But yeah, why not? I love it. Can't get enough of them. Um, today, I decided. I don't know if you've heard of this one or a lot, anything about it, but toxic waste extract sauce. Uh, yeah, it's kind of pretty clearly states extract sauce. So <clears throat> I'm slightly dubious, as you should all know. I'm not a fan of extract sauces at all. Uh, Especially not the ones that don't taste very nice anyway. Uh, it's called security seal, but this one hasn't got any little thing in it, so there we go. Anyway. Right, here we go. Now if you <coughs> wait to the end of the uh, video, uh, I will be explaining something, I'll have a little competition running, um, but yeah, I'll get into that once I've got through this, and if I make it through, if I don't make it, then I'll put some info on it down there, so, okay, here we go. <laughs> Smell wise, it's quite nice, but you can really pick out that extract in there, almost metallic kind of sense of smell to it. Okay, so what have we got inside the toxic waste? We've got habaneros, red wine vinegar, orange juice, or well, orange juice concentrate, garlic, capsaicin, so there goes the extract. It doesn't say how much or what capsaicin or what chili it's from, but hey ho. Uh, garlic salt, so ah, garlic, it's very very garlicky. Smells good though. I hope it's not going to hurt too much. Of course, here we go. So, usual big spoonful. Oh, consistency. It's thick. Uh, ish. Lots of little bits in it. But it's very dark as well. The extract in there to make it what it is. Oh, oh. Oops. Right, okay, heat spoonful. Am I going to regret this? <laughs> It looks like red habanero is in there as well. So here it goes. <coughs> okay, so the initial taste is pretty good. Very garlicky. Ooh, okay. Oh. That's a hot one. Oh, crikey. Definitely tasty extract, though. I'm not happy with that. I thought the smell was going to be a bit better. The taste, sorry. Ooh. Yes, I'm drooling already. Don't get the lips. Oh, <laughs> I'll start sweating up in a minute. Oh, wow. Oh, I haven't got any tissue either. Oh, I'm not it. Oh. Okay, so heat, first of all, seems to kick on at the side of the cheeks. Then, then the lips. Oh. I'm gonna get myself some tissue from somewhere. Uh, ah. Oh. Oh, tissue. <coughs> yeah, as I was saying, the heat first it hits the lips and then it 
Yeah, and it kind of it moves back, it moves back slowly. And with the extract, that stuff loves to pick on parts of your mouth and your throat. And really, get, just sends out that burn. It's not too intense. Uh, I suppose the capsaicin in here is not going to be super strong. But it's certainly kicking off that burn. <sighs> Lips are starting to swell up already, as you can probably see. Uh, definitely moving to the stomach. And when I say moving to the stomach, I mean you can feel it going down, you know, your esophagus, sorry. Yeah, it kind of. <coughs> Whew. Yeah, it sits, in, it sits in the stomach now and it's starting to kind of bubble up like a cauldron. <sighs> Making my eyes water. It hasn't really brought on that much of a sweat. Not really. <sighs> Maybe a little bit. Yeah, on the cheeks. Yeah, you see a bit of shine there. Extremely garlicky. Whew. You have a lot of this on anything if you're thinking of kissing somebody don't have this in anything first because this is extremely garlicky and orange juice you can't can't taste orange and you can't taste the fruit it's not so prevalent but you can taste the acidity apart from the red wine vinegar that gives it kind of a substance and preserves it orange juice or the acid in that orange juice almost cook what's inside there oh, runny nose yeah I'm, I'm sweating now no not big time but it's going for it now that oh it's giving me the runny nose today oh Yeah, it's definitely moving to the stomach now. Really can feel it like a lead weight sitting there. <laughs> Garlic burps. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, crazy. <sighs> right, okay, well, yeah. Again, as we did last time, I'm going to do another sauce after this. Um, might do one of Mary Sharp's. I'm not sure. I'll give it half an hour, an hour. I'll give them more like 45 minutes to an hour so let it subside a bit and then I can really feel the burn of the next one and hopefully this sauce won't hinder the next one too much but heat peaked at the seven and a half minute mark but crikey what does happen the same with a lot of extract sauces because the extract's quite oily you may think the heat's starting to die down and then you'll suddenly build, have a build up of saliva swallow and then bang the heat's suddenly back again your throat's going and mine's doing that Right, okay, cool. Right, 8 minutes 15, probably about 6 minutes. So, yeah, say so a 6 minute longevity for the heat of this one. Still feel it on my lips, slightly swollen. Yeah, same old, same old. Cool. Right, wicked. Ah, okay, competition, I was mentioned right at the start. I am looking. For somebody to create me a um, intro uh, using um, the Hot Sauce Emporium logo, uh, you know, putting bits together, I don't know, just like a short kind of intro, kind of 15 seconds, if not that, 10 seconds, Hot Sauce Emporium, Leo and crew, whatever you like, um, with Flash, kind of use, use whatever you can. Um, and the prize, the first prize will be, um, yeah, three super hot sauces of my choice. Um, and I'll be, you know, I'll pick some tasty ones and some hot ones. So you're not going to get a low crappy ones, you'll get some decent ones. Second prize, you'll get two bottles. Um, third prize, you'll get one bottle. Uh, there's no time limit, I'll give you... Uh, a couple of months for this, so you know April time. But I'll keep 
you informed about you know a kind of a closing date for the competition there isn't one as yet but I will keep you informed on that in the next few weeks but I'm just putting that out there so that let you know um, tell your friends whoever you know that's it kind of working with computer graphics or uses flash and stuff then let them know bring them across to my channel see what they can put together um, I mean be really creative do what you want uh, send it to me in an email I'll put my email in the link down below um, and yeah if you send me an email just to say you're going to take part in the competition then I what I will do is I'll send you the graphics the hot source emporium graphics um, and whatever else you might need so yeah cool competition so a bit of interactive stuff from you guys and as I said I'll at the end once all the people post their uh, ideas to me then I'll do a video of the people's ideas and I'll give a shout out to everybody that's participated and of course your stuff will be shown so if anybody else out there does reviews and they like your stuff they can contact me and I can contact you etc etc so cool right I hope that didn't go on too long but uh, yeah I'm sure you've got the idea of what I want um, so yeah let me know what you think and yeah cool catch you in a minute